Alright guys, so today we got a pretty special video because we have something from the future. And just like the box says, it's a crazy cool speaker with ultimate sound. So this is a very unique Bluetooth speaker made by a company called Gravastar. And this is a very unique product, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. So this is the box that it comes in as like a little handle. So it uses Bluetooth 5.0, weighs 1.4 kilograms, which is about three and a half pounds or so. The output of the speaker is 20 watts. Then we got packaging dimensions, which is basically 200 by 200 by 200 square the battery capacity of 2500 milliamp hours and what's included in the package and on one of the side of the box we have some more info here ultimate sound bluetooth 5.0 20 hours of battery time and i'm guessing that's probably not at high volumes with built-in ambient light oh so yeah this thing looks really cool all right so let's go ahead and cut the security label here and on the top here there's a little round white sticker indicating the color of this speaker which is white all right so let's open it up quite exciting very cool packaging so on the top there's a user manual so it looks like it's encased in foam and check that out guys we can see the speaker inside wow that's a little bit larger than i thought it was going to be let's go ahead and pull it out and right off the bat this thing is quite impressive it's very large and very nicely styled and actually quite heavy we're going to check it out here in a second. Let's see what else is in the box. So we have some wires and that's pretty much it. And you guys can see it's packed very well between all this high density foam. So the two wires that are included is a charging cable, which is a USB to USB type C. And it is braided, which is really nice and feels really high quality. And also we get a braided AUX cable. So if you want to connect something straight from, let's say you have a phone that still has AUX output, you can use this cable here to output the signal out of any device into the speaker. So the manual is quite thick. And the reason for that is because it's multi-language, but it's a good manual that kind of goes through how to use the speaker and connect it and things like that. This is super exciting because this thing is so unique and I've never seen anything so interesting being a Bluetooth speaker. So it looks like it's a ball type robotic look with these legs that unfold. Okay, yeah, so they do fold out. And if we look underneath, we can see that this is where the charging port is and the AUX input. So all the white that you see is actually metal, even these covers here and the top here. And then the gray, is a plastic. The grill on this side is metal and on the other side we have a speaker and I think this is just a bypass radiator that moves around. A very cool design. We've got some nice markings here. It says O2. Some more interesting things here and I'm guessing this is the front since the logo's here. And going to the very top it appears that we have volume control here because it says maximum and then minimum here. So we're gonna check that out. And right behind that on the back here we have the function button. If we look all around we can see there's little clear lighting accents throughout the speaker like on his legs here around the body so yeah. So since this is a Bluetooth speaker it's probably pretty simple to use so let's go ahead and we are looking at the back here. Hit the power button, which is in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on by holding it. Okay, so it made a sound and powered on. And you guys can see all the lighting all around the speaker. Wow, even this part glows here in the front. Not enough energy. Okay, so it's saying not enough energy. So it must be a low battery. So I guess first things first, we need to charge it. So let's grab the included charge cable and we'll plug it underneath into the port. And I do have an external power bank. We'll connected to that and it should charge and actually the indicator for that is on this side here there's a little picture of a battery here and we can see that light pulsing so if i unplug it not enough energy you can see that it's saying that it needs power so when we plug it in it'll start pulsing and that means it's charging and on the other side is actually our bluetooth status here and it looks like we need to be connected for it to become solid all right so i'm going to grab my phone and go to bluetooth it doesn't come up in the available devices so i think what we need to do here on the speaker there's a button that shows bluetooth and i think if we click that ready to pair. okay yeah so when i clicked it it says ready to pair now it's blinking fast all right so it comes up as gravistar so let's click on it it should connect it's asking us to confirm we are connected. So I'm going to be using Epidemic Sound for my music since this is what I have. So let's go ahead and just pick something random here. Let's say beats. All right. So we'll just push play. 
and it should start playing. Sure enough, it does. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit. So before we actually listen to it, I want to give you guys a little more detailed close-up view of this thing because it's quite impressive. So not only is it large, it's got a really nice presence to it. So this is the back of it, and you can see this is where all of our function buttons are. Bluetooth button, and then it looks like our select button there with the power button next to that, and then our lighting button on this side. I guess if we push this, we can probably pause it. Yep, pauses, and then continues. So here's our lighting. Let's see what that's all about. So I'm going to click it. And so it looks like it just turns on and off the ambient lighting. Also here up front and on the legs and the sides. And it looks like that's all it does, just turn it on and off. So functions are quite simple and straightforward. But I think the far the coolest option here is on top. And this is where you control your volume. So it is touch sensitive. You guys see that. You can just control it by touching it. You can go louder and then quieter or you can just tap straight to where you want to go so it's very responsive and right below that i guess is our main radiator for the speaker so this is the front and this is where the most clear sound will be coming out is out of here so on either side of the speaker we got these nice little lightings here uh, very alienish looking and underneath there we can see it says caution sound from the future very cool looking legs there and they do fold as you guys saw, it came in folded. So you can fold them like this and you can actually set it down, I guess, like this if you wanted to. But it definitely looks much cooler like this. And there are little rubber feet underneath, so it does have the grip. And plus, you know, it eliminates vibrations. Very nice heavy duty construction here. Feels very solid. So looking at the side of it, very nice. So looking at the back now, there's not much sound coming out of here. So this definitely is just for passive sound where I think the bass is created from this thing moving. So yeah, very cool design guys. So I think if you were looking for something unique, this thing really delivers. So another thing that's really cool about the speaker, if you do have two of them, so you could have one on each side of your computer, let's say, and have a true stereo system. All right, so let's see if we can't pump up the sound quite a bit to see if we can get this thing in the back to move. So let's go ahead and do the volume. It's pretty loud, it's like about 75% volume. It definitely sounds amazing from the front here. The back doesn't have all the frequencies, but the front here sounds very good. All right, I think we need to go ahead and charge this thing up all the way. And then I'm going to get out a recorder so you guys can hear maybe a little better. It's a little hard to translate how well this thing sounds, but from just initial listening here, it sounds really good. I can't imagine how nice it would be if you had two of these as uh, stereo. So, All right, so the batteries are fully charged and I got my Zoom H1 in out here and we're going to try to record some sound. And I'm just going to place it here in front of it. I'll push record on the recorder.
But yeah guys, this is a super unique little speaker and I'm really impressed with the overall aesthetics and you know, the sound quality is definitely really good for you know, what it is. But I wouldn't say this is you know, the best speaker I've ever heard obviously and it is pretty small as you can see here. And it is a Bluetooth speaker with a pretty small driver inside so you know, not expecting too much out of it, it really delivers. It goes pretty low so it does have that deep deep bass but it's you know, quite subtle. So I think if you would have this like more in a corner you would definitely you know get more rumbly out of it I guess but in larger open spaces you know it might not you know give you that punch now one thing I know would be awesome is to have two of these and it might be a little bit unpractical if you know especially if you're on a budget because this is not cheap already so having two of them would be you know quite an investment but I think the aesthetics that it brings and what it offers it's really unique and you know it could be worthwhile that price but another thing I wanted to mention that let's say if you're gonna use this on a desk you can make this thing fire up more by just putting the foot in the back or folding it like this and it kind of you know points down a little where it's firing up a little so if you're on like a desk I kind of get it to go up a bit I thought that was pretty cool so and it actually still looks awesome like this so. so yeah this is quite unique and I think would make an excellent present for you know someone that needs something really different or you know you don't know what to buy then this would probably fulfill that because it's so different so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this overview of the Gravastar and I don't think I mentioned this yet it's the Mars model so if you are interested I'm gonna have some links in the description check it out they do also sell different combinations of color and lighting and they also have some pretty unique artwork on a couple of them where they you know went through battle and they're all like scratched and stuff they look pretty awesome so in any case guys check it out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button and if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more then stay tuned and also guys check out my other channel viral where i bake just b-roll clips of products and this thing will be there too so check it out and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace